it's part of what the genus Pituophis, which means hissing snake. These guys can appear more aggressive than rattlesnakes because they have a very loud hiss and they will look very, very angry, but it's all bluff. They'll, they'll, they're just simply trying to scare you away. We want people to be able to tell the difference in Idaho between the gopher snake, which is harmless to us, and the rattlesnake, which uh, if we were bitten would always make us very, very sick and be painful. So uh, the first thing to look at with the gopher snake, even though the pattern is similar to the rattlesnake, uh, they are different when you look at them close up. And if you're comparing them, the rattlesnake will have a larger triangular head. The gopher snake has a narrow head. The rattlesnake will amazingly have a rattle. And the gopher snake, of course, does not have a rattle. Now, they will both shake their tail. And if a gopher snake is mad at you, he'll make a noise with his tail and sound like a rattlesnake. But you need to look for the rattle because he won't have it. The thing we want people to appreciate the most about not just our gopher snakes and rattlesnakes, but all snakes, is that they're really nothing like what people think they are. They're really very, very shy creatures. They only want to be left alone. And they're all of them, no matter what the species, and especially in Idaho, are very beneficial to us in terms of the rodents that they eat, in terms of the crops that they help save. And if we respect them, uh, they're going to respect us. So they can teach us so much about how to be good citizens, I think.